In this video, I'll break down how to use my really cool Ultimate Bundle Pack, which is for sale on my website, WinkinsMedia.com. In this video, I'll break down how to install these plugins and how to use each of the individual plugins that come in this really cool pack. Now, once you purchase the pack, it should just send you an email where you can go ahead and download the zip file, the ultimate bundle.zip. Now, to unzip a file, all you have to do is just double click on the actual file and it should open up this folder called the ultimate bundle. Now, to install this, all you have to do is go ahead over here, click on go what you want to do is you want to scroll down here and click on home and then you want to head over here to movies go to motion templates open up motion templates and all you want to do is you want to take this folder and you want to drag it into your effects folder located in your motion template folder so if I open up the effects folder as you can see right here the ultimate bundle so just simply drag and drop drag the folder the entire folder into the effects folder which again is located in your motion template folder now i would encourage you to close final cut before you install these and if it's still not working what i would try doing is updating final cut i think it has to be at least like final cut 10.7 or above so if it's not working try updating try updating if you have any other issues go ahead and just send me a dm on instagram and i will help you resolve the issue so once you have final cut open what you want to do is you want to head over here to your effects panel and you just want to scroll down until you find the category the ultimate bundle now as you can see here are all the plugins that come in this really cool pack which is a total of 16 plugins so what i'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just break down how to use each of these individual plugins so the first plugin is the chan is the channel blur plugin all you want to do is just drag it on top of your clip now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to like, let's say like 150%. Now you want to go ahead and just deselect all these, but you just want to keep blur red. So you see this blue check mark, blur red. And all you want to do is you want to take the amount and you just want to just crank up the amount. And as you can see, you have this really cool like red outline, basically simulating the film halation effect. Now you could also do the same thing with like blur green. You can see this really cool like green outline, but in most cases you probably want to keep blur red. And as you can see, you this really clean, you see this really cool like, like red outline, basically simulating that like film halation dehancer effect. The next couple of plugins I want to go over are the CRT TV effect. So as you can see, you have this clip right here. All you want to do is just drag the CRT TV effect onto the actual clip. Now you can adjust the fisheye radius. You can adjust the fisheye mount to get that really cool distorted effect. You can crank up the waviness, the static, and we'll uh, kind of crank up the saturation, the number of scan lines. So you have this really cool, like distorted, glitchy effect, kind of simulating an old TV. So if I play it right here, this really cool, like distorted, glitchy effect. One thing is just a really cool effect. Now head over to the next one. This really cool like these really cool glow effects so if, if i apply dazzle as you can see it kind of creates that really cool glow now if i go to the threshold and basically just adjust the threshold so there's a less glow if i increase you there's just a lot of a glow we can go to the amount we can increase the amount we could adjust the brightness make it less bright but as you can see you can apply this really cool glow effect now if i head to the next one this really cool glint effect so let me just go ahead and place it onto this clip right here now what you want to do is you want to increase the in the intensity as you see you have this really cool glow effect and you can mess with the different settings to kind of get a really cool like kind of like glow glint effect now the next effect is really cool it's this really cool like light sweep effect so you can see i have this really cool so i just have a text layer right here if i head over here you have light sweep left to right the 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 original light sweep effect i think looks the best so simply drag it onto your actual um uh, text layer and you could also drag this onto like a pn a logo with a png background so if i go ahead and play this clip right here you see this really cool like light sweep effect now you can head over here to the blend mode you can change the blend mode to add you go to the speed and change the speed to accelerate so you see this really cool like light sweep effect now this effect is really is popular in after effects but i was able to create it to so you could also use it in final cut so if I play right here, you use really clean, like light sweep, light shine effect. Again, you could apply it to text or a logo with a PNG background. Then we head over to the next one, which is this really cool like offset effect. So I take the offset effect, go ahead and just drag it onto this clip right here. What you want to do is you want to make sure you're in the beginning of the clip. Now you want to go to horizontal or vertical offset, whichever one, whichever direction you want to go. So let's say you want to do it vertical. So go to vertical offset, go to the beginning, make sure it's at zero, and you want to place a keyframe. So it should turn, it should that little like diamond 
diamond icon should turn yellow. That means we created a keyframe. Now we want to go to the end or go to where we want it to end and let's type in like a number like negative 200. Now you want the number to end in like a 100 number so negative 300, negative 400, positive 500, positive 600. If it doesn't end in like two zeros what's going to happen is it's going to be offset and it's going to look at the basically the frames aren't going to perfectly line up. So I play this clip right here as you can see you have this really cool like offset effect. Now I could also go over here and let's go to blur let's say you want to add some motion blur you can go over here go to direction apply the directional blur and let's say we want to change the angle to um 270 because that's like the direction it's going let's take the amount and increase it to like 300 place a keyframe then go to where the offset effect ends and let's change the amount and change it back to zero so basically you have this really cool as you see this really cool like motion blur effect this is, we'll go ahead and play right here see this really cool like blur effect and it just makes the animation look a lot nicer now let's head over to the next one which is this really cool like page curl effect so basically what i did was i went to the beginning of this clip the very first frame clicked option f to create a freeze frame so basically what i essentially did was did was i took a screenshot of the very first frame and then i placed it on top so you see this this frame is completely frozen now if i select this clip right here and apply the draw mask as you can see if i disable the draw mask all i just simply did was i just applied a draw mask onto the clip as you can see and i basically just cut the subject out so it's basically just a simple freeze frame so you can see if I play the clip this really cool just kind of just freezes comes on and then goes into the next clip so I'm going to do is hover here to the effects panel and let's we'll scroll down until I find the ultimate bundle now what you want to do is you want basically you want to apply the page curl effect so place the page curl effect onto your actual freeze frame freeze frame layer right here as you can see this is what it looks like it kind of like this really cool like this really cool like sticker effect now, as you can see it's going in the opposite direction you could also go over here and adjust the on-screen controls but you if you notice you realize it's going in the wrong direction we want it to peel on not peel off so once you apply the page curl effect basically you want to create a compound clip so option G and we'll just name this one so basically you want to group it all together now what you want to do is you want to head over here to the speed tool and you want to head over here to reverse clip now the clip is going to be playing in the opposite direction so instead of peeling off it's now peeling on so we play this clip right here as you can see now it's peeling on but as you can see the timing is a little bit off so let's go ahead with the playhead and something like this maybe we want to end and let's go ahead and just trim this clip and go ahead and line it up right here just so the timing looks a lot better so we play it right here these this really cool like sticker effect and there you go this really clean sticker effect just kind of peeling on which I think is just a really cool effect the next effect I want to go over is this really cool like outer glow effect so as you can see this text effect now if I take this outer glow and drag it onto the text as you can see nothing really happens so what we're going to do is let's go over here and adjust the inner color and let's go ahead and crank up the radius really high so as you can see now you have this really cool like outer glow you could apply this to again text or a logo with a png background so it's just a really cool like outer glow effect that you can apply into a whole bunch of really cool stuff now if i head over here to the next clip what i want to do is i'm going to go over how to use this pro mist filter effect so if i apply the pro mist filter onto this clip right here basically what it's going to do is it's targeting the brightest parts of the clip so i said so basically you want to apply this effect especially with any clips that have like lights so basically like this is the highlights these are the highlights it's targeting like basically the highlights the brightest parts of the clip so if we select this clip and go to threshold and you just want to br uh, kind of bring the threshold down as you can see you have this really cool so before after this really cool glow effect and you can go over here and, and increase the amount and adjust the settings but you see this really cool like glowy glowing really cool haze effect which i just think looks really cool now the next effect is this really cool soft focus effect so just drag it onto your clip now in this case what i would do is i would go to the amount and crank it really high like maybe like 100 150 but as you see if i zoom in i have this really cool so before after this really cool like dreamy haze effect i honestly really like this it's a very simple effect but it's definitely a really cool effect to add to get it kind of give your video a little bit of texture now if i head over here to the next clip if i play this clip right here you just have a normal clip but let's say you want to have it like stop motion or kind of like a low shutter effect you could apply the stop motion effect onto the clip the clip right here and then what you want to do is you want to go over here and you want to change the amount to something like four or five the lower the number the slower it's going to be you don't have to keyframe at all just simply change the amount now if i play the clip right here you have this really 
cool like stop motion effect and you could apply like a like echo effect to kind of fake that really cool like low shutter effect now if i head over here to the next clip basically as you see i just have two clips so here is the first clip and then here is the second clip i just basically put it on top now what you want to do is you want to select this top clip you want to scroll down until you find the uh, strobe flicker effect so apply the strobe flick the strobe flicker effect onto the top clip as you can see the background is black now you can head over here you could actually change the color to maybe something like a white see so this really cool like if I go ahead and play it right here this really cool like white strobe effect now what you could do is you could either have a, a, the like background white or black or you could head over here to the opacity and change the opacity down now you can basically increase the speed so let's do 570 and basically what it's going to do if I kind of go frame by frame it's basically as you see it's switching between the two clips so instead of having you individually go through and blade every other frame then delete every other frame basically it's how you create a flicker effect this basically does all the work for you so I play the clip right here as you can see this really cool flicker effect and also if you go over here to the opacity and change the opacity back to 100 now you're not going to see the background clip but as you can see now you have this really cool like white strobe um, a flicker effect but that's basically so instead of like, again going through and individually cutting all the frames this just saves you a whole bunch of time because it does all the work for you now if i head over here to the next clip right here again this is like a freeze frame clip so what you want to do is select this clip right here you want to go to the first frame of the clip click on option f to create a freeze frame now you want to drag that freeze frame on top of the first clip so if i select this clip right here again it's just basically i selected right here i just created a draw mask so here's the original clip i applied a draw mask and cut out the subject and now just just simple as that just a cutout of the subject now here are a couple really cool effects one is the stroke effect so if i place it onto the clip right here you see you this really cool like outer glow effect which is just a really cool effect now this effect is only going to apply to text logos with png backgrounds or subjects that are cut out see if i if i apply this strobe the stroke effect onto this clip right here as you can see nothing is happening so again it needs to have basically you need to apply it onto things that have a transparent background so this is a cutout so the background is transparent a text logo the background is already transparent and any logo or image with a png background is going to be transparent so again needs to have a transparent background or else it's not going to create that outer glow effect now also over here this really cool transform effect basically what i did was i took apple motions parameters and put them into final cut so if i scroll down right here to the rotation this is really the only thing you can rotate natively in final cut however if i go over here to this rotation now i can rotate it on the y axis so let's say we want to start at like negative 90, put on negative 90, place a keyframe, and then go to the end of the freeze frame, and we're going to go here to the y-axis and change it to zero. So basically we just have it keyframing so it's animating on the y-axis. So if I go ahead and play the clip right here, you basically this really cool effect where it's basically animating on the y-axis. As you can see, that just looks really cool. So I'm going to play right here. You have this really cool effect where if I get into a play frame by frame, you're having it animate on the Y axis. Now you can basically apply like a directional blur and keyframe to add some motion blur, or you can use this really cool motion blur plugin from Orion Nagel, completely free. So to take the moderate motion blur, place it on top of the actual freeze frame. So basically again, you could do like it before where I apply like directional blur, or you can use this free motion blur plugin from Orion Nagel, or you don't have to add any motion blur if that's not the effect you're going for. So I play the clip right here, as you can see now you have this really cool like blurs you see it's animating on the y-axis and it just creates a really cool unique effect anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative again if you want to go ahead and purchase the ultimate bundle it is for sale on my website winkinsmedia.com it is a really cool pack i spent a long time on it so hopefully you really enjoy it and again if you have any issues with the installation process let me know and i can go ahead and help you fix the issues but again if you enjoy these types of videos and you want to watch more of them make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace.